Well, good morning. You know, when you're trapping coyotes, sometimes you use a snare to place at a slide where he goes underneath the fence. You know, the thing about a snare is that he never sees this coming until it's too late, until he's already caught in it. Now, it might catch him around the middle section, might catch him around the throat, but most of the time it catches him by a hind leg. Maybe, maybe a way back, way, way, way down low on a hind leg. And then his only chance of escape is to chew his own leg off. And it does happen. You know, if he had known that the snare was there, well, he wouldn't have gone through that area. Um, if he had detected it, seen it, smelled some human scent in that area, been, been, uh, aware that there was maybe some danger there, well, he would have never chosen that path. He would have taken another path. And with that in mind, Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 24 tells us this. It says, Make no friendship with an angry man, and with a furious man thou shalt not go, lest thou learn his ways and get a snare to thy soul. Anger is learned behavior, according to the Bible. And it warns us from both sides, I think, of this proverb. From the direct side of this proverb, it says, be careful making friends with a person who's an angry or a furious person. You, you know what I'm talking about. Some, some people have a short fuse. Some people have a quick temper. And so it warns us against that. It says, because through your friendship with a person who has that kind of anger, you can learn that. And when you learn that, that anger is actually a snare to your soul. Now, this is a warning. And so it's telling us where the snare is. If I were to, to tell you, you know, now as you go down this trail, be careful when you get to the great big oak tree because there's a trap there. It's intentionally set and I know exactly where it is. So when you get pretty close. Well, you need to go around to the east and miss that trap. You'd say, okay. And you'd go around. You might even ease around and try to find it, but you'd know that it was there and you'd know to avoid it. Well, that's what this is here for in the scriptures. From the other side of the coin, that is a warning to me and you to not be an angry person and to deal with our anger and to deal with our anger quickly because we can influence others, and when we do, it's not a good influence. In the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 19, it says, Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. One of the things that we can know for sure, according to Scripture, is, is that when you and I lose our temper and we get angry, we're not operating in a righteous manner, and we're not going to be able to do the work of God in that manner. Instead, Jesus has given us a spirit, not of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. The ability to control our emotional response by the Holy Spirit of God. We have that ability. We can control that. And so, what we need to do is, is we need to realize that wrath is a work of the flesh. All of those works of the flesh, according to Galatians 5, must be dealt with. They must be put to death. We must starve the flesh and feed the spirit and turn our back on the flesh and walk toward the spirit. And when we do, we will be able to walk in the spirit's motivating power, the spirit of Jesus that he's given to us and we'll be able to walk away from the works of the flesh. I just wanna encourage you this morning. Um, anger is a, a raw emotional issue. We all have it, we all deal with it, but let's learn to deal with it in a godly way because the Bible tells us that we need to be careful because anger can actually be a snare to our soul and we don't wanna get caught in that snare. God bless you. Hope you have a great day.